Good morning, fellow soul raptor. Jesus here with another playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Caught me petting my horse. <laughs> yeah, good girl. You always gotta take care of your ride, you know, especially after such a long, hard day. Of Robbing folks and stealing stagecoaches. Hi. My lady. You feeling more settled here now? Yes, this is a nice spot. Well, it'll do us for now. All right, Arthur. Contribute to the old donation you. box. Hey, Karen. Bow into all city for her tree and all. Bow all my world traveling and roaming around. I spy a fair maiden so lovely. <laughs> Gently to her, I did say. Hey, you won't let me ride your ring dang do? <laughs> she pulled up her garment so scared it would soil. I out with old Phoenix went for and fro. I hadn't been boring six inches or more till it all from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up. That bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on okay, for a week mom. or ten days. My auger machinery got the fire in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> that was some song there, Uncle. Jeez. Can't go wrong with that one. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hello, Arthur. Hello. How many of those have you had? Not enough. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. Save some for the rest of us. All right, then. Uncle don't even mess around with that on beer. He just gives him some bottle of whiskey. <laughs> I think I'm going to get me a bottle of beer, too. You all right? I think so. Hey there. Maybe I should get a little something stronger, huh? What's this all here? Potato song. <laughs> Reminds me when I was a kid, I was listening to local radio and someone started singing a song called My Potato. Cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was the weirdest stuff I ever heard. <laughs> Feel like it was the DJ's hot hippie girlfriend. <laughs> it's the only reason she got on there. Cause it was a silly ass song, fellas. But I guess it stuck with me all these years, so that must be something, you know. <laughs> yeah. That one always gets the blood pumping. Well, I'll get my various cores all filled up and nice. Should I consume, oh fellers? Now, this is quite a musical camp. Hey, Karen. Hey there. Wasn't she wearing a dress earlier? <laughs> Guess that's the thing to do is do some patrols in your underwears. Hi there, Arthur. The cowardly killer that shot Mr. Miller has laid old Otis in his grave. Yeah! Say it's always good to check up on the old journal, I think. A little reminiscing while I'm a bit lit. Mm hmm. <laughs> He is kind of an artist, I think. That's a nice picture. Yeah, them old grizzly were pretty harrowing fellas. Kinda nice to be down here in the old heartlands.
Still got that fellow's pen. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I might forget though and accidentally sell it. <laughs> but I think it's good to keep all mementos like that. It is quite a fancy pen too. Especially for the time we're living in right now. Are you well? I better sleep this off. Singer. Um, dog. Mm hmm. Old Black Bell, she was quite the character, fellas. Getting up to some hunting. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this was a bit recent one that fell. It was the last episode, I believe. Or episode before that. Should probably try to find that bear one of these days. Mm hmm. Some herbs I've been picking. Uh, that old cat. Well, that's enough of reminiscing, fellas. It's time to hit the hay. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of a trim, I think. Hope you fellas been enjoying these Let's Plays. keep all trimmed up and nice looking I think especially not in the wilderness of while Uh, 
Sports. Afternoon is the best time to be waking up, fellas. <laughs> What's this old book about? Interesting. It's interesting how much work the developers put into making all these little books, even though it's only usually only a couple pages. I just don't think it's really cool they went through the trouble. I doubt anyone even picks these up and reads them like I do. <laughs> and I'll put that one in my pocket. Mm-hmm. That is a horrifying look. Who is this? That must be my old mom. Of course she has a horrifying look. Look at the son she brought up. <laughs> well, ain't that some nice history right there. My first bank robbery. Five thousand gold. That is quite the the amount of money. About two hundred thousand nowadays, roughly. Quite the haul for your first outing, I think, as an outlaw. Sometimes you just got to take what you can carry. That's why I enjoy all the resource management that it's an old school D&D. &D. You know, sometimes you can't carry all the loot out of that dungeon. You got to leave some behind or bury it. I wish I actually had a book like this in real life from that time. That would be such a cool read. They probably have so many misconceptions about animals. <laughs> Even teaches you how to get some fat from them animals and use it for what have you. Animal fat's super handy, especially if you're out there surviving. You need some fat in order to withstand the, the wilderness, you know. Keeps you alive. Kind of something we sort of take for granted nowadays is how easy it is to live. Badgers kind of freak me out, fellers. <laughs>